Hello there. Some real contrasting conditions across Europe at the moment. High pressure stays in control across Scandinavia and it's keeping things pretty cold for this time of year and that extends into Russia as well. At the same time out to the west, it's wet and windy. Some heavy rain moving its way through southern France could bring some localised flooding and that's going to push its way steadily south and east across northern Italy, followed by yet more rain pushing in across Portugal and Spain. Now through the eastern Mediterranean it's still quite quiet, still quite settled, pleasantly warm temperatures mid to high 20s. There's that rain across northern Italy on Tuesday and the next batch of wet weather pushing in across Portugal and also into western France. It's going to stay slightly cooler and showery. The real cold air sits across Scandinavia. In fact temperatures are below freezing both by day and night over the next couple of days. Now as we move through the middle part of the week you can see extensive cloud and rain continues to drift its way west to east. Look at the temperatures in Oslo only just a couple of degrees above freezing by the middle of the afternoon. Let's take a look at the city forecast then for the next few days. It's going to stay pretty unsettled in London and Paris. Showers or longer spells of rain at times. The rain continues across Rome as well. In Germany it, it will be cooler and wet so a lot of rain is expected dry across Greece. Hello there. Weather story in North America over the next couple of days is going to be dominated by the noticeable drop in temperature from the far northwest. Behind this front, in actual fact, you can see significant snow starting to develop as that colder air pushes in. This low pressure will bring some heavy rain as it moves its way through Texas and up into the Great Lakes as well. And that's the dividing line between this colder air behind it and much warmer air uh, to the far southeast. So that's the story in a nutshell. Let's take a look at the west and east coast in a little more detail. You can see along the west coast we are likely to see some rain pushing into British Columbia. Obviously rain to the coast but once you get further inland with that colder air tucking in behind we will see some significant snow. First significant snow really of the autumn winter season. South of that it's cooler but it's dry with some sunshine. So no surprise to see that those temperatures will fall away in Calgary through Tuesday and Wednesday way below freezing by the middle part of the week and there will be some sleet and snow showers in Vancouver as well. Across the eastern seaboard it's a slightly different story. A lot of dry, settled, warmer weather. There's that weather front through the Great Lakes, down through the Ohio Valley. will bring some rain towards parts of Texas as well. But ahead of it, it's dry, it's settled, sunny and pleasantly warm. So temperatures here into the mid-80s but we will see some rain moving into Dallas by the middle part of the week. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather story across South America. Starting off with the pressure charts, you can see that uh, still below average rainfall expected across the Amazon basin. By contrast, some heavy rain stretching its way through southern Brazil in particular over the next few days. South of that, it's still pretty warm. There's a lot of dry, settled, sunny weather out there as well. So temperatures in Santiago, mid-20s. Temperatures in southern Brazil, low 30s. Yes, some showers across Venezuela, Colombia, down through the Amazon basin, but nowhere near as heavy or as widespread as they should be, really. Now, the heaviest of the rain is likely to be across Paraguay, southern Brazil and Uruguay over the next few days. South of that, it's a little cooler down through the southern tip of Chile with some showers here. So here's the story then. The rain pushing towards Rio de Janeiro through the middle part of the week in particular, slowly easing by the start of the weekend. Now, we've got a storm. This is Storm Otis pushing across the southern southern shores of Mexico, more rain in areas where we don't really need it. Got some pretty intense showers across the Yucatan Peninsula, a few scattered showers across the Caribbean, but on the whole it's a little bit quieter here and it's likely to stay that way over the next couple of days with storms staying way offshore. So let's take a look at the city forecast in a little more detail. Some rain, some of it heavy to Mexico City, easing by Friday. Hello there. Forecast for the Middle East coming up shortly where it's all about Storm Tej. More details on that. But first of all, let's start off with what's happening in Africa. A storm system through the Mediterranean could impact Algeria and Tunisia over the next few days, bringing some rain and perhaps some lifted dust 
as it moves through. We've got some heavy rain through Sierra Leone, stretching over to Nigeria and into Cameroon as well. South of that, it's a quieter story, a little bit of showery rain into parts of Madagascar and into northern Mozambique. But that's the story across Africa. Let's take a look at some of the city forecasts to see what to expect as we go through the week ahead. Well, Cape Town will keep some showers around the best of the sunshine through the middle part of the week. Nairobi as well will stay pretty unsettled through much of the week. We keep some dry, fine weather across Cairo. The same too for Marrakesh with that rain easing away. Now over into the Middle East, it's a quiet story across to the north, but all eyes are focused across the Arabian Sea with Storm Tej at the moment, a significant storm, very slow moving. It's going to bring at least four to 500 millimetres of rain, huge storm surge as well. Now, perhaps not a very populated area, but nevertheless, it's going to have some impact with some significant flooding within that area. The rain will gradually ease away, improving picture into the weekend. Hello there. Monsoon rains may well have withdrawn from India now, but we are keeping a close eye on a circulation through the Bay of Bengal. You can see it quite clearly. Now, this could bring some very heavy rain to Bangladesh as it pushes its way inland, 100 to 200 millimetres and huge storm surge, which could lead to some significant flooding. So we'll need to keep a close eye on that and drift towards um, Myanmar as well. Now, across much of India and Pakistan, it's fine, it's dry, it's settled with temperatures into the low to mid 30s, as you'd expect. Across much of central parts of Asia, it's turning cooler, particularly across Kazakhstan, as you can see. Those temperatures starting to fall away. To the south of that, it's still dry, settled and sunny. A little bit of fair weather cloud across the higher ground. Pakistan, fine and dry. The same too as I've talked about in India. A few isolated showers perhaps across the far south and into Sri Lanka, along with the islands of the Maldives as well. But generally, the main emphasis of the rain is through the Bay of Bengal up into Bangladesh, the brighter greens denoting the intensity of that rainfall. So yes, some wet weather to come in Dakar should ease by the start of the weekend. Cooler, as I say, into Kazakhstan. Here those temperatures perhaps into single figures over the next few days. There'll continue to be some showers colder by Sunday. Hello there. Let's take a look at what's happening across Asia. A relatively quiet story at the moment. Welcome news after we saw some heavy rain moving its way out of the Korean Peninsula over to Japan at the weekend. You can see some shower cloud on the satellite picture. Some of those showers quite intense as we go through the day. But further north of that, it's certainly a quieter story. A lot of dry, settled, sunny weather across Japan, across the Korean Peninsula and across the bulk of China as well with temperatures into the mid-20s. We start to pick up some showers really through Vietnam and down into northern Thailand. Some of these could be quite potent from time to time, but they will clear away. Lengthy spells of sunshine come through as well and still temperatures into the low 30s. So if we take a look at the city forecast, plenty of sunshine continues for Tokyo. A lot of dry weather into Shanghai as well. Sharper showers elsewhere. As for Australia, it's a quiet story too. We've got a little bit of fair weather cloud moving its way through the bite and a recent weather front easing through parts of Tasmania. That will gradually drift its way steadily eastwards and that will move its way towards New Zealand. This is Storm Lola heading towards Vanuatu Islands at the moment. It may well push towards New Zealand over the next couple of days. We'll need to keep a close eye on that. Ahead of it, though, it's a cooler, showery story with those showers continuing for much of the week. That's it. Whatever you do, take care.